get one today, John. We're gonna go pick up the truck. We'll hear all of them. All in the mail, trying to get pick this truck up. Gonna be back at the school rider line at 3:30. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. Everybody's fine. We're gonna make it. <laughs> See what's up. She got some rust. Right, and that's what we came for. Look at there. Heck yeah. 5.3. Everything should be good. Everything's running, is what I've been told. So, it should be a super clean swap. I don't know if we're going to be able to trade this thing. We thought about we might be able to trade it, but with this rust, the rest of it, might try to trade it for some other parts, but she looks a little rough, so I'm not sure what they're going to want to do with it. So, here we are. We haven't been here in a while. So I didn't know what condition it was in, but unfortunately I don't like the looks of that rust, but engine and everything looks good. There's Adam. The rockers is me, brother. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's the first thing I said when I walked up. I was like, ah, oh, with the infamous black tape that everybody up here <laughs> in the mountains likes to put on the rockers to cover it. But see what happens so like I said she said that it should fire right up because uh, the only thing wrong with it is a shifter broke because it got rusted what do you think there bees a 5.3 in it I was about to be ill if I walked up there and lifted up to find a inline six four point three liter. Four point three liter. <laughs> Five three right there. Yeah. Yeah, God, that heals rough. I told you. I'm carrying yeah. a battery box and a baby. I know it. Well, you should have waited. I thought you were changing the baby, so I was. <laughs> I, was <laughs> I was letting y'all do y'all sling. <laughs> stuck open and it filled a cylinder up and it won't let the piston come up until it's full of fuel. Oh. Like it's vapor locked, hydro locked. <clears throat> so it will spin over fine until it primed the fuel. <clears throat> 
Mr. Fig. I ain't even got no tools. These hands that the good Lord gave me. <laughs> jump off. <laughs> <laughs> we got enough gas. I think we got enough gas to get down there. So y'all missed it. I'm laying in these leaves down here. I'm like, I'm gonna lay in a copperhead bin. Y'all like, there ain't no snakes up here. And I open the door, there's a snake skin in the truck. Nope, that's all you, Blair. <laughs> ain't no snakes in the mountains. You're thinking of Alaska, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it down in gear and see if it'll move. It looks like it's in like drive now. That's a neutral. Oh yeah, we're driving this thing on and getting out of here. Let's go get the trailer set up. All right. Turn it off? Yeah, we can turn it back off. Either way, no. How much fuel is it saying is in it? It's got probably a quarter, right? When I eighth, it's got enough. We it's actually starting to smooth out a little bit. Yeah. We'll get it to jump back off. Put it in park. Or just go ahead and put the shifter back on down there. All right, then I'll, I guess I'm gonna take this crap out. She said there's, there's a couple things in the back. Huh? Yeah, I think she said there's just a couple things in there. Just in there. I'm gonna let you dig the snakes out of this thing. There ain't the big There's snakes. Dig out the snakes. There ain't no snakes in here. There was a snake skin. There's a snake skin. It's too cold for snakes. If we do find them, he's gonna be he's gonna be froze solid. Nope, I don't got my pistol on me. We don't got a shotgun. <laughs> uh oh. We're. There's definitely something fueling them underneath. Might be fuel. Yeah, we got a fuel line rusted in two on this thing, so. Yeah, hurry up. We don't want to waste what fuel gets there. <laughs> yeah, hurry up. I guess we can just set this up. And I guess how you want to, you just want to pull the, the truck up and I'll just drive it right on the back of it? Yeah, I'll pull the back of the trailer pointed towards the driveway here and put the ramps out. We haven't checked the brakes on that thing neither, have we? <laughs> Check them before you catch that hill there. <laughs> we'll figure it out, won't we? Because I don't want to stop in the bed of my truck <laughs> and tear up, tear up the man's trailer. Well, there's, a tool, there's a toolbox between you and a... <clears throat> The truck. Listen, we can handle that. See, that is a heck of a I could test the brakes moving up, moving back. Yeah. I'll try to get it right. I could be you know, backing it up right here in this this hole until we get it down there. Yeah, I think I'll just point the trailer at the driveway here. How big of a turnaround is down there at the end of this? Because no further than we are here, I could just back. It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, turnaround. Okay. There's like a uh, almost a park down there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll just put the trailer in the driveway here. Yeah. I want everything to be ready, so the next time we crank it, we can put the hood down and go for go, it. Go, okay. All right. Mm -hmm.
What do you say? Either we will or we won't. <laughs> <laughs> you want to film and me drive it up on there? Huh? You want to film it and me try to drive it on there? Either way, don't matter. Yeah. If you want to drive it on there that way, in case something happens, that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your free trunk. <laughs> Here we go. I'm just worried about the copperhead in the truck. <laughs> no, they don't have copper heads up here. All they got is timber rattlers. Great, even better. <laughs> Terrific. So, if I crank it up and get it running, unhook all this so I can put the hood down and, you know, see right. where I'm going. Well, you start it up and then, yeah, I'll yank it off and we'll go. Brakes work? Yeah, we definitely don't have every pillow that this truck came with it right now. <laughs> ah! Hey, it's uh, dragging his back tire. I don't have any front brakes. Huh? There's no front brakes. It's dragging the back one. Oh, smoke. Hey, if I get started down this hill, let's go. So maybe we should move the truck and get a little runway. For sure, we'll turn around. That would have been disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's dragging the back tire. Why is it dragging the back tire? I'm shoving the foot. I'm like, go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Are we going to need this? Yes? Yeah, we'll have to restart it with that. Alright. I seen you start turning. I guess what you're going to use. I was like, get this thing on the hills. I don't, we end up in a new river down here. It's going to be bad. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to pull on up the road some. We'll put the ramps out. It'll be much better than just yeah. while he towed you down the hill and tear up everything we got. Alright. Well, you better slow down. <laughs> I was like, Pretty sure the back tires are sliding and where do I stop? <laughs> <laughs> I seen the back tires, I said, oh she, oh she. <laughs> That's a heck of a hill too. So it's gonna take everything to slow that some bit down. We got this little speed up here, we've been fine. Ah! All that would have done is make sure you hit your head good. <laughs> Deal on here real fast. Oh, yeah. I was like, it is sliding. I am on ice. This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, I was saying, oh man, the, uh, the back the drum broke up. The drum's like, oh. that's what I thought. Those That's are the a... only brakes working right <laughs> <laughs> So I guess, uh, I mean, should I stand on the back bumper to try to keep some traction on the back? Just video it for insurance purposes. <laughs> Attempt number two. Oh. I saw 
that. Brake fluid from it rusted and rotted down there. You know why well, it won't stop? Because <laughs> there's all the brake fluid. <laughs> and we just gotta go down this. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna go terrific. Well, a couple more times running up and down this hill. We'll be ready for the Olympics. Oh, here comes the car. Uh, ready? I'm not sure we have a mic. Until we fix the loading thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. There he goes. No brakes. <laughs> there it is. That was way better than I thought it was going to be. I told the lady, I said, you better watch out, you might end up in the river. If you don't have any brakes. <laughs> That was anticlimactic. We got it on the trailer. With an audience. We're not in the I new thought we were hear some screaming, some yelling. Some <laughs> if they'd have been a snake crawl across my leg, <laughs> you see me come out that wind and that chug of this big gun. Some adult verbiage. <laughs> <laughs> All the bear and the deer and stuff up there. Let's see, that's a uh, that's a wildlife refuge. Uh -huh. it's a national park, so you can't hunt or nothing there. So I sit there at the house, look through there through the thermal sun. Wow. <laughs> it's been a lot better. I was figuring like it ain't gonna crank. The transmission will be toast. We're not gonna push it and winch it. Yeah. Other than, you know, the fuel line's rusted, the brake line's rusted, we cranked it up and drove it on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want us to take our chances and not even strap it down and just head back? <laughs> yeah, you've seen these mountains. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to say right here is where you can pull up and then back up right there. There was a big turnaround right there, but they what closed it. Into? Huh? A neighborhood. They don't go nowhere though. I mean, we can stop right here and strap it down. Yeah. Oh. If it don't roll off right there like it's doing, we're strapping it down right here. What'd you find there, bud? Uh, some grade A Dollar General store ratchet strap holding the fuel tank in this deal. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a little bit of rust on her, but not much. <laughs> little POR 15, she'll be mint. <laughs> Sure did leave that window down in it, but we're not gonna worry about that. <laughs> Aerodynamics. <laughs> <laughs> Some napkins go flying and all it on the way home. Uh, I'm ready for some food action. Some kibbles and bits, kibbles and bits. <laughs> no. <laughs> Another day in the neighborhood. Yeah. Back to Aquadale we go. What a truck.
in the back of a truck. <laughs> Well, here we are, Aquadale Speed Shop. We made it just in time to pick up the kids from school. So Adam lives another day. <laughs> Not fully in the dollhouse. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to make sure we got back in time to get the kids from school at 3.45. We rolled in there right then. Should have filmed the clampets coming through the school line with the truck in the trailer. <laughs> but, but there it is. The truck has arrived. So we're going to unload this joker and then uh, get this trailer back to old Mike, who was nice enough to let us use it. So here we go. Oh, you're, you're vigian. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think about the day, bud? Well, we got you a race car motor. We could probably <laughs> convert that transmission to two-wheel drive. We tried hard enough. Yeah. We got back in time. Nobody died. Didn't tear anything up. Too bad. Nobody got eaten by a snake. <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> Just another day.